The first ever commercial air stat was just launched in the continent of Africa, specifically within the country of Mozambique by none other than the World Mobile Team building here on Cardano. And as a part of today's video, I want to break down this exciting announcement. What is going on, Ada Nation? Welcome to Dap Central. My name is Fareed, and as a part of today's brief and quick update, I want to jump into the fact that the World Mobile team has officially launched their first aerostat in the country of Mozambique. Now, if you're not familiar with World Mobile, they're aiming to connect the unconnected through their global sharing economy, and this team has literally been on fire in the last couple of weeks. Now, things kind of kicked off with the event that took place in Denver, Colorado, which was labeled as Rare Evo, where we heard from Mickey Watkins, the CEO and founder, as well as the rest of the team, um, basically in which they made an announcement surrounding their first global eSIM product and the first ever network launched in the United States. Now, that was quite the announcement itself. Um, since then, we've seen the actual release of their data packages in just the countries that they're going to be covering using their eSIM. Now, right after Rare Evo, we begin to get some teases from Gregory Gottlieb, who was heading to another country for a potential aerostat launch. And if you're not familiar with him, he's going to be the head of their aerial platforms. And so he's basically in charge of managing anything that would be going up into the air. Now, we found out that the country that they were going to be launching the aerostat in was going to be none other than Mozambique in the African continent. And since then, they've just been providing more and more content surrounding the launch. Now, about 18 hours ago, we got an official countdown from the actual team. So if I share my screen with you guys here, you'll notice that this was the actual date and the time in the UTC um, timestamp at which they were planning to launch the official aerostat. Now at the very bottom there, we've got the coordinate location of where the aerostat would actually be launching at, which I found to be extremely neat. Now following that, we just got this particular announcement today, and I just wanted to make a brief video basically congratulating the team number one, and then number two, talking about what the future could potentially hold when it comes to World Mobile. So it reads here, location, massing gear, Mozambique, status, Aerostat officially launched. Again, congratulations to the entire World Mobile team for such a huge achievement that they've been working multiple years for in this particular community. So the tweet continues to read, we're delighted to announce the successful launch of the first commercial telecoms aerostat in africa i mentioned this in one of my prior videos but it was really stunning for me to see that this was the first ever commercial aerostat in such a huge continent i would have thought that by now especially in 2023 that there would have been launches of multiple commercial aerostats but this seems to be a brand new achievement that has just been unlocked by the world mobile team continuing on the launch sets the foundation for the commercial deployment of decentralized aerostats across the globe. Now, I mentioned this as well in prior videos, but I think this opens up the door for so much more than just the um, initial deployment that we're seeing in Mozambique. Imagine how many other countries within Africa, as well as outside of Africa, that were looking at World Mobile that now have enough proof to say, hey, we also want to get on board. We also want to go ahead and join and get our first aerostat launched. So I think that this is just the beginning for World Mobile. This team has mentioned that they are going to be focusing on building in the United States moving forward as well. And the opportunity is basically ripe all around the globe. You know, for myself, I take it for granted, but the ability that I have to be connected all throughout the day is not something that many other people have. So with a launch like this for an aerostat, I believe that it gets a coverage radius of about 44 miles or 72 kilometers, which as you could expect, especially in a rural area like Africa, should be more than enough to cover some of the local communities or some of the local areas. So that was the biggest thing here that I wanted to touch on as a part of today's video. I do also want to just quickly um, highlight and congratulate the entire team that has been out there working tirelessly to make this happen. So there's another tweet here reading, while we reflect on the success of this morning's launch, 
Let's take a quick moment to celebrate the work of the World Mobile Aerostat launch crew on the ground in Mozambique, and in particular, Gregory Gottlieb. Now, Gregory has an amazing quote here, which reads, the Aerostat launch is a testament to the extraordinary efforts and dedication of our team who've been working tirelessly to make this project a reality. We thank you. We celebrate you. We thank you, Gregory, and the entire launch crew, and we just appreciate all of your hard work. We've got another nice picture here of Gregory chatting with another crew member. Tons of helium right there, I believe, anyways, um, which should be hopefully on the um, aerostat now, or at least ready to replenish the aerostat if need be. Now, I want to close out this video, again, just a pretty brief update by highlighting their brand new website. If you guys missed this particular update, the website is available at worldmobile.io. They've basically redone the entire front page and they've added a lot more information. I personally think that this aligns closer with their vision and it has a much more impactful taste to it when I actually review it myself. Now, if I scroll down, they talk about their hybrid dynamic network, which is going to be made up of satellites what they call super air nodes or aerostats, as well as just the traditional air nodes, which will be down on the ground. A pretty cool thing that I noticed here was the cost per kilometer, which as you guys can see right here, is going to be a lot cheaper when using the World Mobile Hybrid Dynamic Network. If I jump over into the next tab here, there are some of the actual key components or key infrastructure pieces that the World Mobile Network needs in order to have this hybrid dynamic network run smoothly. So at the very top, we have HAABs. We've got satellites, super air nodes, which is what we just saw launch in Mozambique. And then we've got the traditional air nodes as well. So if we scroll down, we have some key features which include more capex efficient or capital expenditure efficiency. We have low operating expenses and then a trusted network. Scrolling down, we have the traditional air node followed by the super air node or the aerostat, which as I mentioned earlier, gets a radius coverage of about 72 kilometers or 42 miles in the United States. And this can basically cover an effective area of 12 kilometers. Now, the really cool thing is that it can serve up to 100,000 users on their typical cellular capacity. So really interesting to hear there because I believe that up until now, with all of the air node infrastructure that we've seen in Zanzibar alone, they've been able to provide coverage for over, I believe, anywhere between 15 to 20,000 users in 24 hours. Now, that's with 400 plus air nodes. So to see that one aerostat could cover more than 100,000 users is a really amazing piece of information to note. Again, within Mozambique, I'm not sure if they have that many users just yet, but it's very reassuring to know that when the time comes that just a single air node or super air node, I should say, or an aerostat can provide that kind of coverage. Scrolling down, we've got the High Altitude Assisted Balloons, or the HAABs, which can fly at an altitude of about 20 kilometers and can provide an effective coverage area of 350 kilometers. Now, that is really interesting to see. I would consider that to be the super air node, um, but I don't think that we've seen any of these launch yet. That should be an epic launch once we see one of those going up into the air. Last but not least, we've got satellites here, and that is pretty, I think, common. A lot of people are familiar with satellites, so I won't dive too much deeper into that, but I do recommend that you guys go ahead and check out their website if you guys want to find out more about what this team has been building. That will take me to the end here for today's awesome update. Again, shout out to the World Mobile team for what they've been building. I think that moving forward, that this again just opens up a lot of opportunities, again, aiming to connect the unconnected and serve the underserved. Now, I have an interview coming out with Mickey in which he breaks down other potential countries and location where we may see additional air stats coming up. If you guys are interested in finding out more about that, stay tuned. And I think that that will bring me to the end here for today's video.
As always, if you guys found this particular update surrounding World Mobile to be helpful, I would appreciate you if you could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content like this surrounding the top builders on Cardano, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for me surrounding World Mobile or Cardano, then as always, make sure to go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.